On the Tuesday before Thanksgiving, my son died on a downtown Dallas sidewalk. In June of 2008, I was given three weeks to live. I was 20 when I had a stroke. July 7th, 2004. They tell me I died. It was the most terrifying moment of my life. I was a typical college junior. I came home from school one afternoon to watch Oprah. I picked up the remote and knew I wanted to put my finger on channel eight, but my finger would not touch the number eight. I instantly knew something was wrong with my brain. And then what felt like a lightning bolt went through my head and it literally knocked me back. The pain was so terrible. I still can't shake that image from my mind. I arrived to pick him up. Instead, I found him stretched out on the sidewalk, people on top of him performing CPR. I ran to his side and it was horrible. His face was blue, his eyes were rolled back. It looked like he was gone. I was diagnosed with an aortic aneurysm, a hereditary genetic disorder. It hit me like a ton of bricks at 38 years of age. Uh, pretty much scared, scared me to death. I wasn't sure exactly what was going to happen and um, what the future held. I died at work. I was visiting with a coworker, and suddenly I wasn't responding to questions. Four days later, I wake up in a hospital and they tell me that I've had a heart attack. I tell them they must have me confused with someone in the next bed. I'm a breast cancer survivor. And I don't have heart problems. I immediately started to cry and panic. I was so confused at what was happening to me. I went into my roommate's room to tell her what was going on. But what came out of my mouth was, look out the window, a completely random sentence. She took me to the emergency room and eventually the doctors diagnosed it as a stroke and they found a hole in my heart. I was scared. I was scared because I didn't know what it really meant for me long term. After speaking to my surgeons and understanding a little bit more about the procedure, I realized there was a 98% success rate uh, thanks to research done by the American Heart Association. I, I tell people it was a miracle that Corey was brought back to us. The truth is I see now that it was hard work, and preparation, it was training, it was fundraising. That coworker who knew CPR, someone trained those paramedics in how to use their defibrillator that restarted Corey's heart. Those doctors at Baylor Hospital had learned how to find and fix the problem once and for all. They sent me into the operating room almost immediately and patched the hole. I went back to school the next semester and was able to graduate on time. Some people have birthmarks. I have a rebirth mark. It enabled them to open my heart and to fix it. The prognosis was good and continues to be good because I know what to do now to take care of my heart. I have my life back. My family is so grateful. I am so grateful. I want to thank somebody that I've never met. Ron, the work you have done has saved my life. 10 weeks ago, I was fortunate enough to celebrate the birth of my first son, Cole Grayson Rains. And without you, Ron, and without the American Heart Association, I wouldn't be able to celebrate that joy today. Ron, I don't know you, but I do thank you. Not only have you given me life, but you've allowed me to bring a new life into this world, and I can't thank you enough. It's your work that saved my son's life. Your work makes it possible for me to be able to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm alive, and I thank you for that.